Good boy. Good boy. Come out here, mate. Come out here. Don't go near him. It's the early hours of the morning in Wellington, and Delta team Paul and Fallon have been called to help patrol police who have stopped three men suspected of breaking into cars. They're needing confirmation that they have the right wrongdoers. He just walked right back down the side of the street. No. Oh. hold him here. Is he? Yeah. But the cordon's at the very top. The start point's at the top of the street. Oh. At the top. Oh. Police staff are confident that they have the right men, and Fallon's raring to go with his highly skilled internal sniffing device to prove these are the right guys. I'm just not sure whether they're involved yet. Witness uh, didn't actually get a good look at them. Let's see if Fallon can um, find out who did it. The starting point is one of the cars that was broken into. Fallon immediately identifies the scent, puts his nose to the ground and takes Paul on a trail of where it went. Oh, you can see here that uh, yeah, this car has been broken into as well. Same um, MO the uh, cord light's been broken into. Got another one as well. Exactly the same, just in there. Fallon follows the track from one broken in car to the next and then takes Paul on a trail where the suspects went. Yeah, it's quite typical behaviour of um, offenders going in and out of properties. That's what the dog's just trying to work out at the moment. But they'll be going down here and um, stealing as they go. With textbook accuracy, the talented Fallon leads Paul along the scent trail, straight to the suspects. Oh, in the cars. Proving that police have the right guys. Yeah, that's their boys. Good men, good catch. This is followed by a loud, clear confirmation bark from Fallon, telling them that they are caught fair and square. The police dogs tracked you from a broken window in a car. What have you got to say about that? <laughs> OK, well, it's not what my dog's telling me. Okay. So you might want to fix up, because we're tracked here. I've tracked you, OK? I didn't break into well, you or your mates did. Conveniently lying nearby is the break-in tool. Good over. Oh, yeah. So that's just sitting under there. Yeah. The three men were charged with breaking into cars and appeared in court. <coughs> Who's the stupid one around here is debatable, and given his excellent tracking tonight, Fallon's sure it isn't him. That's a good boy, isn't it? We caught them. Delta team Paul and Fallon's next job is being called through. So we've just got a guy that's apparently smashing his way into some flats. Just about to go 10 7 now. Hopefully we can find him. Once at the destination, Fallon's squealing to get out of the dog van. Nothing's better than a good job for this police dog. Good boy, good boy. The offender is waiting inside, and Fallon can't get there quick enough to tell him what he thinks. It appears that rather than trying to break in, the man was trying to break out. Come out here, mate. Wanting more action, Fallon is secretly hoping that the man will try running. Boy. Come out here. Don't get near him. But with backup and a patrol car waiting, that's the end of this job for Fallon. He voices his opinion loud and clear. Roger, yeah, he's damaged the door. I oh, just got another 1K um, mail. Hey, pull up your pants. Low riding pants are great for buttock ventilation, but bad for running away from dogs. Maybe that's why he didn't bother. Don't like naughty boys, do you, Fallon? After being taken to the station, the man was charged with willful damage and received a suspended sentence, 100 hours community work, and made to pay $400 reparation. Hey, buddy. Hey, had plenty to say, didn't, didn't you? Especially when you started barking at you. 